Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke and today we are going to be doing Pokemon Heart Gold version. Now, it's been a crazy day today, okay? It started off with the plan being that I would randomize Pokemon Sweets and we would play Pokemon Sweets. It would be really cool, cool, it's a cool game, I've never actually played it before. However, because there's only 151 Pokemon that have been changed, the other Pokemon are the same. Um, which means, simply put, that uh, I can't randomize that game. And I was kind of in the mood to randomize a game. So, I decided that I was going to put off Pokemon Sweets and go for Pokemon Blaze Black. Which is not Pitch Black, it's it's a different game that is a Dreano hack um, that makes uh, Pokemon Blaze Black much more difficult than Pokemon Black. However, I got about three episodes recorded already today when the game crashed. And when the game crashed, my last save point was right before the training montage in episode one. Or episode 2, actually. And I didn't want to do the whole training montage over again and whatnot. So, I was really upset that that was going to be the case. And I said, fuck that, I'm going to go play Pokemon... Uh, a different Pokemon game. So, I was thinking of a Dreano hack po called Pokemon Sacred Gold. However, while the game is more difficult, I cannot randomize trainer Pokemon and I cannot randomize my starters. And I decided, you know what? Instead of Sacred Gold, let's just randomize Pokemon Heart Gold to a degree. While most of the time, most of the time, um, I like to randomize Pokemon move sets. That's not going to be the case in this in particular playthrough because. We don't want the exact same things to happen every single time. So I randomized Pokemon abilities because that's fun. That doesn't really have, you know, that doesn't, that's not too insane. Unlike the uh, Pokemon move sets. So the Pokemon move sets are actually the same. They're actually exactly what the Pokemon would learn by that point through level up. While trainer Pokemon are also completely randomized. The legendaries are randomized, wild Pokemon are randomized, the items are randomized, but that's about it. We're not doing the whole uh, randomizing types. That's a little too crazy. We're not randomizing move sets. In a future Nuzlocke, I will do the ultimate randomizer for move sets, which is the mo which is the metronome challenge. Okay. In the Universal Randomizer, you could go with metronome-only mode, where you just randomly use a move, and every single Pokemon in the entire game only knows metronome. Uh, that will happen at some point, but uh, not not now. We're 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 gonna we're gonna ease into that. I might do that for a like fire red or leaf green playthrough with a Nuzlocke with a metronome-only mode. So uh, that'll be a future uh, thing, but. After a really long day, I said, fuck it all, I'm just going to play this. Um, as you can see, the text is also going really fast. Um, which I, I really like. Um, because in the Universal Randomizer, you can make the text go really fast. And something that's really going to be entertaining is that the, the catching tutorial that they have is completely randomized. Meaning that they very well could kill the Pokemon and say, that's how you catch a Pokemon. It's happened to me before where they, where, uh, Ethan would go up and he would try and catch a Pokemon and he would use Guillotine and killed it. It was absolutely amazing. That, that was probably my favorite catching tutorial ever. Because he's just like, use Guillotine. It's a one hit KO. That's how you catch Pokemon. Yeah, sure, Ethan. Why don't you calm your ass down? Jesus. <laughs> so. Um, so we're on our way here. Uh, this is basically just going to be the first episode little uh, shindig where we get our first Pokemon in this game. 
Uh, if y'all missed the last series, I highly recommend you go back and watch Platinum. Uh, the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke was pretty insane. So uh, that's definitely one that I would highly recommend y'all check out. Um, but we're going to go see what our uh, starters are. Our starters should be interesting. Look at the speed. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how this is going to go. I am going to go tell Beating the Elite for the second time. Some people like to go to red, but I'm going to go to Beating the Elite for the second time. That's just going to be how it is. Alright, so. We've got a Gloom. Gloom isn't a bad Pokemon. I don't know if we're ever going to find any Leaf for Sunstones, but Gloom's not a bad Pokemon. Zigzagoon. And a Mr. Mime. Well, Gloom, welcome to the team, buddy. I, and that was an easy, uh, that was an easy, uh, pick there. Uh, you're going to be named, ooh, you're a, you're a girl. I definitely want to evolve this thing to Blossom, because I really like Blossom. So I'm going to call him... I mean, I could be, I could be a re, yeah, beyond some. Okay, that was a really bad joke, but okay. Okay, we get it. We, you want me to use potions? Congratulations, motherfucking lations. I just want to be able to run, but guess what? I can't do that. Because I don't have the right pair of shoes. You're not allowed to run in those shoes. Those are not shoes made for running. Man, if everybody followed these rules, though. In my opinion, you should just be able to run off the bat. I mean, that, that's one of the good things about Gen 6, is you can just run. Yay, I got a Poke Gear. Yes, I remember how to make phone calls. But you're going to tell me anyway. Luckily, I have this thing on super duper speed. Alright, we are going to get spoken to by Professor Elm here. What do you want, Elm? What do you want? Get, 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 get out of here. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching this first episode. We just got introduced into this game, and future episodes will be posted on my channel. If you want to see them, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that thumbs up down below. Let me know how I'm doing on this series and all my other series in the comment section down below. Let me know anything you want me to talk about during these Nuzlocke challenges, questions you got for me, favorite Pokemon, favorite moves, all that good stuff. Leave that in the comment section down below if you want to know my thoughts on certain things going on with Pokemon. If you want to talk to me about other questions, more personal questions or something that's not Pokemon related, put them in the Shaman Vlog comment section. Uh, of course, there are five of those to this point, so be sure to go check those out if you have not already. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for future episodes of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Thank you.